So today I'm going to tell you a bit of a story kind of about my careers leading up to teaching. And there's a thin thread that ties into this that I justify it with. Um, <laughs> did you say, is this going to be on the test? Yes. <laughs> um, actually, that's a good point, though. Let me check and see how we're doing on the test. Have you guys fixed it? Everybody good? So again, once we identify the base, we're going to find the P, H, and B. And if you're looking for what those stand for, they're all the way at the bottom down here. It says that P is the perimeter of the base. So having identified that this is my base, my perimeter will be 7 plus 13. Because this is a rectangle, it'll be plus another 7 and another 13. 20 and 20 is 40. When it asks for the height, this messes with people because there's going to be a couple heights involved. But it's the height between the two congruent parallel bases. How far apart are they? So they're nine. And then the big B stands for the area of the base. And this formula will change depending on what type of prism we're looking at. In this case, it's a rectangular one. So our base is length times width. This is where it messes with people because sometimes people say base times height. So now is that going to include nine? No, because we're talking about the two-dimensional base. So 70, what is that? 91. Once you've laid these out, then we can do our formulas. Lateral area is P times H. It says that down on the bottom here. We've already established that P is 40 and H is nine. So this would be 360. Then the surface area formula is the sides, lateral area, plus two of the bases. So that would mean 360 for the sides, plus two times the base area, which we found is 91. So 182 and 360 is 542. And if these are feet, this would be feet squared. So again, the goal is start by finding P, H, and B because those three values will do everything for you. Then plug them into our formulas. Please do number two yourselves. It shows you having early dismissal at 220. Yeah. So I can't be too bad. No, see, this is this is what they do. This is from the athletic director. She tells us what time we're allowed to release you. You're early released at 2.20. Can you what? A copy? Sure. Um,
And if you finish this one before I go through it, you can just continue with the other problems. This is your homework the rest of these sheets. You'll notice that for the rectangular prisms, you could have chosen a different base, right? Because any of the pairs would actually work as rectangular prisms. And while that may give you a different H and a different P and a different B and a different LA, it would have worked out in the end to the same surface area. And that would be okay for rectangular prisms. But when you move down to other shapes, remember that the only bases that can be used would be the ones that are not rectangles. Any base that's not, any shape that's not a rectangle must be a base. Okay, you've got the period to work on this, please. These three pages is your homework, or your homework.